I started thinking about economics and studying about economics, partly because I was interested in social issues and partly because I was interested in how people interact in society. And um, uh, it was a very difficult subject, and I studied that, studied that in college. I wanted to go to grad school, and um, uh, after grad school, I became a professor. My research is in a broad field of macroeconomics, and I'm interested in economic growth and business cycles and the issues about um, unemployment and labor market. And uh, in particular, I'm looking at um, how people move around in the labor market um, from uh, employment to unemployment, from one job to another job, uh, from one location to another location, and how these interact with the issues of economic growth, business cycles, and then um, labor market issues in general. And I also look at the same phenomenon from the firm side. Firms are born, uh, firms uh, grow, and firms contract, and firms exit, and also how they are related to business cycles and economic growth. So I teach first year graduate students, PhD students, and I also have four students that I'm a main supervisor of at Georgetown. What I tell PhD students from the, at the start of a first year class is that I want to treat the PhD students as my colleagues. PhD students come to um, the program looking for training and, and, and learning, but at the same time, I'd like to learn from the PhD students as well. So, and it is a very rewarding process of um, uh, talking to PhD students and learning from them. So in choosing PhD programs, I think uh, people look at the professors, the aspects of learning and training, but I think sometimes uh, what is overlooked is um, this is a place that you're going to spend five, six years, long, long time of your life. And um, there's an aspect that, that uh, your life itself is very important. Uh, so that has to be uh, taken into account. In these situations, it's very hard to visit the places, but collect the information uh, as much as possible um, when you choose where to go. And once you decide where to go, I think the, uh, one of the important things about the um, PhD program is um, friendship. So you have um, friends. Uh, in, in the same class or in upper or lower classes uh, in the grad school that you go through a stressful, difficult time together. And uh, that's important. Friendship and also um, there, is a, there are lots of um, uh, continuing collaborations uh, that two of my uh, important uh, research collaborators are my classmates from my grad school days. Um, so. Um, um, the, the importance of friendship I'd like to emphasize in the PhD life in general. I think the best strength is some people, uh, professors, uh, starting from graduate program director, um, cares a lot about, uh, professors care a lot about the PhD students and, and collaborate a lot with students and talk, talk to students a lot. Uh, I think that, that people is the, the strongest trait of Georgetown Economics program, but also that, that um, because of the unique location that, that we are in DC, there are lots of interactions uh, with um, DC institutions uh, in terms of microeconomics, including uh, IMF, Federal Reserve Board, uh, et cetera, and then Census Bureau, uh, BLS, though there are a lot of opportunities as a microeconomist and also uh, many applied economists um, to be uh, interacting with um, uh, people who are close to the policies.